What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be going over the Auction Insights report in Google Ads. This report will show you how you compare to your competitors, where your ads actually overlap. So competitors who are targeting similar keywords to you, how you actually compare to them within the Google search results, really all based on advertisements. So nothing to do with organic, just really advertisements. So all of these different competitors here are different ones that were appearing alongside me when I was running this campaign last year. So this is just a campaign for a fake pool care company. And you can see if we come down here to the keywords that I'm targeting, a lot of the auction insights report is going to be based on the actual keywords you're targeting and the match types that you're using. So if you have a massive keyword list and you're targeting all sorts of keywords, you may not get the best auction insights report. If you are targeting a smaller set of keywords, you're spending a lot of money, you should have a very good auction insights report. You don't need to spend a lot of money to be able to see this data. I spent a very limited amount of money during this two month period. This is really just an example so I can get some data into this Google ads account. But I'm gonna go through all of these different columns here, starting with impression share. Okay, an impression share can be a little bit more difficult to explain. So I'm just gonna scroll over each of these just so you can see what the Google ads explanation is. But essentially impression share is how many impressions you actually received divided by the number you were eligible to receive. So it's not total available impressions. It's basically what are your targeting settings? What are your bids? What are your quality scores? So if you have the highest bids, if you have highest quality scores, if you have the highest budget, if you're targeting all these different keywords, you should theoretically have the highest impression share. And your goal is to have a very high impression share, especially for your best keywords. Now, when you are targeting for conversions, there may be you know, a thought process of, I need 100% impression share, that's the best way for me to maximize conversions. When in reality, you may see the best possible results at a 70 to 80% impression share with a set of impressions that you're not actually receiving because those are people that are less likely to convert based on what they're actually searching. So a little convoluted there, but basically impression share is how many times your ads appeared when somebody is searching your targeted keywords. Now that's not a perfect definition, but that's kind of how I look at it. Now there's different columns here with different statistics, and these are all competitive columns. So these ones themselves aren't necessarily as competitive, although what it's going to show is, okay, these three specific companies were appearing in the ads results more than I was during this time period for the keywords that I was targeting. So there's a variety of things I could do to try to increase my impression share. Usually the easiest way to increase your impression share is to increase your budget. You could see here my budget was very limited. I think I may have put it up to $5 a day, $10 a day at the most during this period, but I didn't spend much money. So I don't really expect to have a high impression share. The other thing is if you have limited bids, so let's just say you're using a maximized clicks bidding strategy, a portfolio target CPA strategy, manual CPC strategy, and you have set a maximum bid limit, that is always going to limit your impression share as well. So if you just have maximized conversions, you set the highest possible budget so you're not limited by budget, you could essentially get your impression share up to 80, 90%. So you can get that number very, very high with an organized campaign, good quality scores, high bids, high budgets. So that is really how to get your impression share high. Now, again, the goal is not necessarily we want the highest impression share in the world unless there is a specific keyword or specific keywords that you want to make sure that when ads appear, you are there every single time. So the way that I generally look at impression share is if I'm running ads for a client and I know they have some other key competitors in their market, I can tell them that, hey, we're not appearing as much as some of your competitors are and it's due to our budget or it's due to our bids. So something that we're currently doing is not getting us in the ads results as much as you might like. So if you are looking for a conversion volume type of strategy where you want the most leads within the market, then what you really want to do is make sure you're maximizing impression share, maximizing conversion rate. If you do those two things, you should theoretically have some of the best results in the market as long as you are targeting every eligible keyword based on the services that you provide. Now, you don't necessarily need to say, I need the highest impression share. What you're ultimately going for if you're trying to drive conversions is good conversion results. I would rather have a client with a 50 to 60% impression share and really good conversion results than a client with a 90% impression share that is basically breaking even. So sometimes you're better off saying, hey, we're going to bid slightly less because the costs have become way too high. And some of these companies are likely not even making money. They're looking at long-term clients that they're building. So for example, in HVAC, a lot of companies aren't looking for just that service. They're looking at customer lifetime value. So they're saying, hey, we're willing to spend 
500 dollars $700, $1,000 for a brand new customer because we feel like over the lifetime of that customer, we can make that money back. I don't love this approach, not the greatest approach from an advertising standpoint, but definitely a way to make sure that you are the leader in the market in terms of conversion volume, even though it's generally going to come at a very high cost. So the next few columns that we have over here, so we'll, we'll start scrolling over. Number one is overlap rate. So that is how many times that you and another advertiser received an impression in the same ad auction. So basically what this is saying is if there were 100 impressions on 15 or 16 of them, I was in the same ad auction as Maritime Pools. On 25 out of 100, I was in the same one as All Star Pro. So we're appearing together a lot. Some of these where you're seeing a smaller overlap rate, a lot of times that means they may either be not really spending nearly as much money as you, so they're not appearing as much in the ads results, or they may be targeting different keywords than you. So you'll see this a lot, especially with larger advertisers. This is a really good example because these are all like local pool companies. If you ever see a larger competitor in here, like you're targeting for pool supplies specifically, specifically, and the display URL you see in there is amazon.com, your overlap rate is going to be very low. Generally, your impression share is going to be less than them, and some of these are going to be less. You're not really competing with Amazon in most cases, so you're trying to look at the business that is closest to you when you're actually looking at the auction insights. Seeing Amazon in here, if you're competing with Walmart, if you're competing with any of these massive, massive companies, they're not truly your competitors. Even if they sell the same products you know, from a pool supply perspective, Ultimately, you're targeting some of these other local companies and companies that are much more similar to you. So even looking at these pretty quickly, I would say these two at the top are probably the closest competitors and then Edge Pool Pros probably pretty close as well. And then these two would be kind of right behind it. But where you see these three, 5%, they may potentially either not be spending much money at all or basically targeting different keywords that I'm targeting, different types of services, maybe things that I don't even offer. Next is the position above rate. Now, overlap rate, it doesn't really matter how much, you know, if these are higher or lower than you. This is not something I really ever track or optimize for or try to change too much. If you are trying to really target the same keywords as a competitor, I guess you could try to optimize for this, but it's not really something I generally do. Position above rate, this is something where you want a higher percentage. So seeing everybody with a higher than 50% than I am, it basically means that they are mainly above me in the ads results. So maritimepools.com, we appeared in, or we'll use All Star Pros. AllStarPros.com, we had a 25% over, overlap rate. So every 100 impressions, 25 of them, we were in the same exact auction and our ads were appearing in the same search result. The position above rate, 65% of the time, they were above me when our ads were appearing in the search results. Maritime Pools, even higher, position above rate at 86%. Pool Scouts at 89%. Generally, what that means is they have a higher budget. They generally have better quality scores than I do, which isn't surprising. This, this is a very small campaign that I ran. I don't expect my quality scores to be as high as companies that are actually optimizing for these keywords. And they are bidding higher than me. So if, if somebody is typing in, pool repair near me, pool cleaning near me, those specific keywords, poolscouts.com probably has higher budget, higher bid, more data, better better quality score than I do. Basically everything about their camp. This video is brought to you by my Google ads course. So if you go to surfsideppc.com slash course, you can see my Google ads course here and purchase it for $34.99. Anyone who purchases my Google ads course will get the 2025 version for free as well. So you're getting 23 lessons that I just recently recorded. In addition to my brand new course that I'll be releasing in 2025, I also have an inbound marketing course here. It's about 10 hours of content that will show you how to drive more traffic to your website, and more leads for your business. So go to surfsideppc.com slash course to get access to some of my different courses that I have available. Back to the video. Pain is better than mine. So Google's gonna say, we're gonna show them above you because they're providing a better user experience, their conversion rates are better, their quality scores are better, their landing pages are better, their click-through rates are better, and also they're spending and bidding more. So why would we? Why would you appear above them for the same exact search? So basically, if you're seeing position above rates like this, it generally means you have some work to do within the account, or it could potentially be something where if you have a very good campaign but a limited budget, it's not the end of the world if you're seeing a position above rate. You know, even if you're around this mark with a bunch of your competitors or this mark, not the end of the world if you are seeing good results. It really depends on what your goals are. Top of page rate. So top of page are anytime the ads appear in like the top two, three, four ads that appear at the very top of the page. So it doesn't mean that you're necessarily at that very top spot. 
but you are within that top portion of advertisements and not really being buried at the bottom of the page or on the second page, third page. So me being at about 50% here basically means only one out of every two impressions am I in that top pack of ads. Not surprising, very small budget, very small bids. For the most part, I was probably appearing at the bottom of the page. If you're ever trying to figure out why is my click-through rate so low, the top of page rate could be useful sometimes because it generally means, okay, my click-through rate is lower because I'm not bidding high enough, I'm not spending enough, and I'm just not competitive enough to be in the auction at the very top in the ads results. This is common with software as a service because you have companies that make more money, spend more money on advertising, and it's hard to compete with these really, really large, you know, $100 million companies when maybe your software is something where you're in the low millions per year. You're not going to be competing with some of these very large companies who are spending tons and tons of money. For example, a CRM company. If you have a small startup CRM company, and even when I say startup, I mean a very successful company that's making good revenue, it's going to be very difficult to compete against a HubSpot or a Salesforce like some of these companies that are just spending tons of money on advertising. So top of page rate, something you definitely want is to a higher top of page rate. But if you see something lower like this and you're seeing good results, again, not the end of the world. All Star Pros looks like just based on their numbers that they're overlapping with me a lot. Position above isn't as high as some of the others. Top of page isn't as high. So my guess is they're not spending as much as some of these companies are. We just tended to have a little bit of an overlap with our impressions and what we're targeting. But they do honestly look like they're bidding fairly low based on some of the rates that I'm seeing. Next up is absolute top of page rate. So basically the same as this, except this only counts the very, very top spot. So some of these 51%, 53%, 49%, they're likely bidding pretty high, pretty high budgets, good quality scores. It's always good to have a good absolute top of page rate because then you're at the very top position in the search results. You generally have the biggest advertisement in the search results where you may have site link showing, you may have your call asset is showing, your location asset, structured snippets. You're getting all of this extra information in your advertisement. So absolute top of page rate, never a bad thing to have a high one. Mine being at 6% is pretty bad, honestly, and it's just really a matter of budget and probably the way I was bidding. I was just bidding way too low on some of these keywords. Did that by design, not the end of the world. I'm not, not going to be bidding aggressively for a fake brand that I'm not, you know, nothing is coming to me from any of this money that I'm spending. Outranking share. So basically what this is going to show is how often my ad ranks higher than another advertiser's ad. You want this number to be high. This basically means I'm constantly being outranked by the, my competitors. Mostly, most likely due to budget and most likely due to bid, also probably quality score. So I'm only appearing above them at a very small rate. Generally, it's probably for keywords that are lower quality keywords. Google's going to put me up a little bit higher. I'm basically paying the Google tax. All Star Pros, Pool Scouts, Maritime Pools, the Pool Co. SC, they want all of their, you know, they're spending a lot more money than me. So if there's a good keyword, they're probably going to get first dibs at that. If there's a bad keyword or search term, I'm probably going to get first dibs at that until I can start spending more and so I can get more conversion data, improve my quality scores. So when you're looking at all of these, an outranking share, much better to have a high number here, high number here, high number here is good. Position above rate, you actually want this to be a low number here. So how often another advertiser's in the same auction shows in a higher position than your own. You want the position above rate to be a low number. Overlap rate, not really something I, I try to optimize for or change too much, but overlap rate, you do want to be close to your competitors. So if you're seeing like a 25%, something higher than that, it's usually pretty good. If you're seeing a very low overlap rate, maybe double check your keywords. Just make sure you're targeting the right keywords you want to target. There is the potential that they're just not targeting the best keywords. So I wouldn't use this really as something that I would optimize for or change my campaign. Impression share, always better to have a higher impression share, but there is a number, maybe it's 60%, maybe it's 80%, where you're going to see better performance than if you have a 100% impression share. The only time that I really ever use impression share-based bidding is if a, if a client really wants to appear alongside a specific competitor search or every single one of their branded searches, or if there's one specific keyword that's like, hey, this is a keyword we are optimizing for, we need to be in that top ad position every single time. It's always going to cost you more money and impression share bidding is generally not going to give you good conversion performance, but it will give you good impression performance. So this is the auction insight report. It's basically compare yourself with your competitors 
in the ads results based on the actual keywords that you're targeting with a few different statistics here that hopefully make sense after we go over them a little bit. But if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.